Welcome to 2020 Toilet Paper 2.0 Reloading Primer Edition. In this video, I'm going to talk about the grand reloading primer shortage, some predictable bad behavior, and what you can do about it to get primers on your reloading bench. Gavin Gu here from ultimatereloader.com. Let's break down what the heck is going on with reloading primers again. This is a predictable scenario. We've got a reloading primer shortage that has been triggered and is the result of unrest. We've got COVID and then we've got George Floyd. We've got an upcoming election and the combination is a perfect storm for people to get serious about the situation, realize there's an ammunition shortage and they want to make their own. They decide to reload ammo and guess what? The store shelves are bare. I was talking with Michael from Mid-South Shooter Supply about the situation. A lot of people think that people are just buying up all the primers and that's why they're not there. Turns out about 99 point something percent of the reloading primers that exist in the world today are being used for factory ammunition production. That's right, there's been such a run on firearms and ammunition. I've talked to a lot of people around here, friends that are getting serious about preparing for whatever is gonna be next in terms of civil unrest. They're buying guns, they're buying ammunition, and guess what? They're not finding ammunition because everyone has been buying. And the result is all of the components are being used to make factory ammunition. So if you want to reload your own ammunition, this creates a big problem for you, and I'll discuss some solutions for that a little bit later. The unfortunate reality is human nature kicks in in these situations. So when we have these times of unrest and when people are stressed out, there's some typical bad behavior that surfaces. I was just on Facebook this morning and saw someone sharing in a reloading group some outrageous prices that people were charging for primers, so I had to look for myself. I looked on gunbroker.com, I typed in small pistol primers, and the first two results were shocking. The first result was some Winchester small pistol primers. I think it was a pack of a thousand and the buy it now price was $300. Yes, folks, that's correct. A good price for these would be $29, $30 under normal circumstances. This person has a price gouging factor of 10X. The next result was a stack of 2000 primers just like this right here and the buy it now price on that was $500. Not quite 10X the normal price, but pretty close. This is despicable behavior, okay? So these gun broker sellers should be penalized for this. In fact, I just inquired to the customer service team if this price gouging, if there's any gunbroker.com policy for these kinds of things because those sellers should be reprimanded for that. This is, this is seriously not cool. And there's online retailers that are doing this as well. I've heard that Cheaper Than Dirt is a frequent offender in this particular category. So I would urge everyone to have a, an elephant type memory here, a really long memory. And if Cheaper Than Dirt, for instance, I did not see this this time, but if they're price gouging, remember that. A year later, don't do business with them. If you see a gunbroker.com seller that's doing price gouging, don't do business with them. Where you can report this behavior because it's absolutely despicable. Now, there are many upstanding retailers that don't partake in these types of tactics. Mid-South Shooter Supply is one of those. They're my metallic reloading retailing partner. They have integrity. They are a family business. I would encourage you to do business with these folks. So my request to you all is don't participate in this bad behavior. You know, uh, what goes around comes around and we're a community. So what can you do about it? 
The first thing that I would urge you to do, and this is very difficult and it's a bit late in this particular panic cycle, is take a long-term approach. Be proactive rather than reactive. I've had these Fiocchi primers on my shelf for years. I have steadily replenished my inventory when the need has arose. And when COVID happened, before the George Floyd thing, I took a look at my inventory. I saw some gaps. I have a lot of features that I'm working on. I can't afford to be without primers. And I bought early. I restocked any of the inventory, not hoarding, but restocking inventory according to your own needs. You know, what else can you do? You can share with people in the community. If you know someone that desperately needs some primers, maybe they're entering a match and they need to load ammunition for their match. Maybe they don't have primers. Maybe they're hoping to get started and you have a large inventory. I would urge you to share with them. If you're going to sell primers to people in your community or whoever, I would urge you to not price gouge. The thing to do with integrity is to charge the normal going rate outside of the panic and outside of the hysteria. And if you're one of these people that subscribes to price, you know, supply and demand in this kind of a scenario, um, I got to say that in my personal opinion, that's just not taking the high road. There are also several tools that you can use online to be notified when there is inventory. Again, getting back to the long-term approach. If you log into your account at Mid-South Shooter Supply, when you go to a product page, there is a notify me when the inventory is replenished box that you can fill out. Get on multiple retailers inventory alerts and ride out the storm. Eventually, you will be able to buy primers. I know that's not a glamorous answer, <laughs> but it's really the only way to ride out these storms. This is not the last storm that we're going to go through as a community. Our rights are constantly under attack, and there's constantly shifts in the industry with DOD, ammo production, and, and all this stuff. So you really have to take that long-term approach. You have to plan ahead and buy what you need. Share, if you need stuff from someone else, maybe you can ask them. I would really ask you all, as a part of the community, to you know treat others how you would like to be treated. I'm doing the same. So there it is in a nutshell. I've focused on small pistol primers in this video. I know all primers are in high demand. So please be patient. Let's ride out the storm together. If you have suggestions about what people can do, please drop a comment. We'll start a discussion. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, I've got Ultimate Reloader shirts at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'm on Patreon and I've got a link to a full article. Links down there in the video description. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications. We got a lot of really cool content coming up. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.